Welcome to this evening's broadcast. Tonight we discuss aspartame. Well, this horror began in 1981 when Donald Rumsfeld, as head of the G.D. Searle Pharmaceutical Company, used his political clout to put a known carcinogen on the market to poison a nation, all in the name of money. In the Washington Post article of December 12, 2001, about Donald Rumsfeld, there was a one-liner that was so incredibly relevant. That sentence was, he could be swilling Diet Coke with the secure knowledge that if not for his turnaround of big pharma giant, G.D. Searle and Company, and successful touting of the sweetener aspartame, the beverage would not be possible. Hello, and thank you for tuning in. I am Lara Frogman King and this is the Alternate News Network, not to be confused with the controlled news network CNN. Tonight, I would like to welcome Diane who will be presenting some very interesting facts about this artificial sweetener known as aspartame, which, for those that aren't aware is now in over 9,000 consumer products. Thank you Diane for joining us tonight, and please, tell us what got you interested in this very controversial topic. Thank you Larry for featuring this important and underreported subject. We have so little time. So I would like to get right to the heart of the matter. I once believed that our food supply was safe, because if FDA or Health Canada had approved it, it has to be safe for human consumption. Isn't this what we are told to believe, that our elected political leaders are looking out for our well-being? Well, like the majority of people, we want nothing more than to trust our government and their agencies. Sadly, this is not the case. The corporations are dictating government regulations at the cost of human health, for profit. Larry, let me take you on a journey, a highlight if you will, about aspartame and the health effects that most people are totally unaware of. Thank you Diane, please continue. For anyone doubting anything I am about to reveal, I encourage you to review the links posted. It started back in 1964 with a group working on an anti-ulcer drug. In December of 1965, while James Schlatter was recrystallizing aspartame from ethanol, the mixture spilled onto the outside of the flask. Some of the powder got onto his fingers. Later, when he licked his fingers to pick up a piece of paper, he noticed a very strong sweet taste. He realized that the sweet taste might have been the aspartame. The discovery was reported in 1966, but there was no mention of the sweetness until 1969 when investigators first reported the discovery of the artificial sweetener in the Journal of the American Chemical Society, stating, We wish to report another accidental discovery of an organic compound with a profound, sucrose-like taste. Preliminary tasting showed this compound to have a potency of 100 to 200 times that of sucrose. Today, hundreds of millions of Americans, and millions more worldwide, consume foods and soft drinks stamped with the NutraSweet swirl. They dump packets of Equal in their coffee and consume NutraSweet flavored cereal, yogurt, puddings, gelatin, cheesecake, chewing gum, diet soft drinks, children's vitamins, juices, and thousands of other products. So Diane, what exactly is aspartame? Also known as NutraSweet, Spoonful, equal and more recently named Amino Sweet. Aspartame is a compound of three components. These are methanol, aspartic acid and phenylalanine. Methanol, methyl alcohol or wood alcohol, is a colorless, poisonous, and flammable liquid. It is used for making formaldehyde, acetic acid, methyl t-butyl ether, a gasoline additive, paint strippers, carburetor cleaners for your car's engine, and chloromethanes. This poison can be inhaled from vapors, absorbed through the skin, and ingested. Methanol is the type of alcohol you read about when people become blind from drinking it. In aspartame, methanol poisoning and poisoning from methanol's breakdown components, formaldehyde and formic acid, can have widespread and devastating effects. This occurs in even small amounts, and is especially damaging when introduced with toxic, 
free form amino acids, called excitotoxins. Methanol is quickly absorbed through the stomach and small intestine mucosa. The methanol is converted into formaldehyde, a known carcinogen. Then, via aldehyde hydrogenase, the formaldehyde is converted to formic acid. These two metabolites of methanol are toxic and cumulative. Phenylalanine is an amino acid. Well, amino acids are good for us, right? Don't they keep us healthy? The answer is yes, amino acids are necessary for good health. Except when you separate the individual amino acid from its protein chain and use it as an isolate or by itself. The aspartic acid, in aspartame, is also an excitotoxin substance that excites or overstimulates nerve cells. This occurs in the brain, as well as the peripheral nerves, because aspartic acid, in free form, is an absorption accelerant and easily crosses the blood-brain barrier. Excitotoxins include such things as MSG, aspartate, a main ingredient in NutraSweet, cysteine, found in hydrolyzed vegetable protein and related compounds. Larry, what makes this all the more intriguing is that excitotoxins appear to play a key role in degenerative nervous system diseases such as Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, Huntington's, Lou Gehrig's disease and many others. But the story doesn't stop there. It appears that an imbalance of these excitotoxins during critical periods of brain development can result in an abnormal formation of brain pathways, that is a miswiring of the brain. This may lead to serious disorders such as behavioral problems, hyperactivity, aggression, attention deficit disorders, learning disorders and poor learning ability. Some neuroscientists have voiced concern that America's explosion of childhood obesity may be related to excitotoxins in food. Diane, sorry to interrupt, but that sound signals our first break. Please hold that thought while we stop for this short intermission. And we're back with Diane. Tonight, we are discussing aspartame and its little known or should I say, little publicized dangerous health side effects. Diane. I understand that aspartame is the number one reported side effect of any food additive by the FDA. In addition, aspartame is, by far, the most dangerous substance on the market that is added to foods. How do you respond? Yes this is true and I am very concerned how the government agencies are covering up this information. I am shocked to see the number of sites promoting this neurotoxin as well researched and safe. Once aspartame reaches body temperature, so for instance, drinking a Diet Coke, the aspartame will turn to formaldehyde, the same fluids used for embalming. All I can say is that people need to take charge of their own health. Never, and I repeat, never, allow government or other so-called authority figures tell you what is healthy or not. Don't take this as the final word, always take the time to do your own research. It just might save your life. The aspartame issue is no different from the fluoride issue. It's political. It's about financial gain. And we have been misled. I guarantee this. Do your own independent research and believe me Larry, once you start asking questions, it's surprising how much you learn. We still have a long way to go in helping to educate consumers. But one thing is for certain, we must never give up trying to share the truth. Oh. We are out of time. Thank you so much Diane, for sharing this information with all of us tonight. Until next time, I'm Larry Frogman King reporting from the Alternate News Network. Good night. Thank you so much Larry for having me on the program. Good night.